Now, the Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Sports Desk with Johnny Congdon. Bama fans get used to seeing Bryce Young in Carolina Blue, the former Heisman Trophy winner and this year's number one overall pick at the NFL Draft. Well, he was on the field this weekend working with the Panthers in rookie minicamp. Young chatting it up with first-year Panthers head coach and noted quarterback guru Frank Reich. Young was reportedly the first one in and the last one out of the building, showing the work ethic of a true franchise quarterback. And the former Tide great knows, well, you lead by example. This is a huge day for me. Um, you know, this is my my first day of practice. Um, you know, it was it was a lot of fun. So of course, you know, I, I wanted to wanted to set the tone. Um, you know, I was just here trying to trying to get stuff down like we all were. Um, you know, we've talked about it a lot as a team. Um, you know, being prepared. Speaking about being prepared, it's the biggest day of the year for soccer here in the state of Alabama. High school state championship games are up for grabs and everyone is fighting for a blue map. Let's start with Class 4A girls action with Springville and Gulf Shores going at it. Dolphins up 2-1 to one in the first half. Rebecca Sierra with some nice moves and kicks a dart past the goalie to tie things up at 2. Sierra would finish the day with four goals. Later in the first half, Tigers would take the lead thanks to the soft tap in from Annie Grant from an unassisted goal, make it 3-2 Springfield. Tigers weren't done. Audrey Duckworth shoots it in over the goalie and finds the net. That'll take a 5-2 lead. And your Springville Tigers win their first state title in school history with a final score of 9-4. I was actually on the first Springville High School team. And so now as their coach and they just won state, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Go to the 5A Boys State Championship with John Carroll taking on Gulf Shores and those JC students. Well, they were out in force tonight. First half, Cavs up one. Why not add to it? Sebastian Guerrero sneaks one past the goalie and John Carroll with a 2-0 lead. Later in the first, Jacob McMahon taps it in off the corner kick for one of his two goals on the night. The John Carroll Cavs are your Class 5A State Champs cruising to an 8-1 win. And they give it all, they give their whole heart. So we carry, you know, all of our alumni, our two seniors from last year, uh, Topher and Blake, and, and all these guys, they always give it their, everything they have, from getting up in the early morning workouts to the last minute in the state championship. And that's, that's why we got that 11 star. 6A girls final action with defending champion Homewood looking for a repeat taking on Montgomery Academy. Second half, we're still scoreless. Lady Pats on the attack, and Sophie Lowry with a nice shot on goal won't go. Huge save by the Montgomery Academy keeper, but that's when things would get big for Homewood. That right there, Susanna Busby, who taps it in for the goal. Homewood goes up 1-0, and as time ran out, well, Homewood, back-to-back -back Class 6A state champions. They take down Montgomery Academy. Head coach Sean McBride, well, he could not be any happier. You don't know who it's going to be in a, a championship game. And we just kept going and kept going and kept going, and... Luckily enough, our player just ran in there, and it's, it's hard to describe. Just You're ecstatic for your team, you're relieved, um, but just immense pride in all these players, every single one of them. Westminster Oak Mountain squaring off against St. James in Class 1A, 3A Girls State Championship game. Knights up a goal right out of the chute. They'll tack on another as L.C. Smith chips it off the corner. Knights up 2-0 early in this one in the second half. Well, they'd add to that lead, thanks to Vale Ritchie with her second goal of the day. This one with the left foot to go up three. Zep and Westminster Oak Mountain, the Knights, they are your Class 1A3 A state title champions. They win it 3-0. This season has been a journey, right? Coming back from an ACL injury before the season, not knowing what would happen in the end, if we would get here or not, if I could coach them the right way, and making this work, making this happy. Believing in them all the way. Can't think about them but them. Them, they did it, not me. Well, it was a great Saturday for both the Tide and the Tigers. Alabama traveled to College Station and beat up on the Aggies by a final score of 12 to 2. Andrew Pickney went deep for the Tide. They finished their series with AM tomorrow afternoon. And earlier today in Oxford, the Auburn Bats remained red hot. Cooper McMurray. With the biggest swing of the day, a grand slam here in the fifth inning to blow the game open. Tigers win it 13-5. Moving day at Greystone, third round of the region's tradition. And Robert Carlson was a man possessed this afternoon. Chipping for Eagle here on 13. He'd tap that in for birdie. And then on the 18th hole, putting for birdie and history. He shoots a 63. That's good for a tie of the course record. 16 under on the day. Tied with defending champion Steve Stricker. It's going to be a great Sunday. 
and Carlson knows while well, he needs to be at his Here's best tomorrow to earn his first win on the Champions Tour. Tomorrow is another day. You're going to go out and play, and, and uh, I mean, it's a lot of good players up in the top, so uh, it's going to be enough for me to focus on my game and try to keep uh, what I'm doing going, and, and then we'll see what happens. Carlson and Stricker going at it tomorrow. Regions, tradition. It's going to be a great day on the course. I'll be there to cover it. We'll have you completely covered tomorrow with uh, sports director Jeff Spiegel. That's all for sports right now. Don't go anywhere. Megan's got more news after the break.